Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have some semi-annual sale news and updates to share with you guys. I'm going to be letting you know what body care products and candles are going to be at semi-annual sale this summer. I know, I can't wait. Please subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up. If you'd like to follow me um, on my social media, I will link my Instagram uh, page below. So make sure you stop by and say hello, you guys. Okay, I am trying to work with um, my cameras, you guys. I'm using different ones and lighting and setup, um, so it may be a little inconsistent. Um, sometimes, um, you know, when I get my video all uploaded to YouTube, it changes the background color and it makes my walls look yellow or orange or tan and my walls are actually white I know someone brought that up in the comment section yes they are white but you know once it gets to YouTube the color changes sometimes so you may see some inconsistencies but guess what it will be okay we'll get through it you guys okay so I have compiled lots of information i just hand wrote all of this information out you guys i got these pages out of my planner so yeah this is the planner girl in me so yeah i just got all organized and everything so i can bring you guys all of this wonderful information oh my goodness how excited are you guys about semi-annual sale <gasps> i know i am okay so let's just get right on into this you guys these are scents that have already been out before. They have been out like forever, you know what I mean? And I'm going to go over the list of the ones that are going to be returning. So, yeah. Okay, so we have Happy Vibes. Remember Happy Vibes? I know, I know. The packaging just really made you happy, right? Um, because it was pink and yellow and really fun. It was like a fruity um, uh, scent. It was pink citrus, crisp pear, and fresh honeysuckle. Okay, so um, Peony is going to be returning. That's um, Peony Petals, Garden Rose, and Sandalwood. And Peony is always at semi-annual sale. Like, you know, it comes out in huge boxes, you know, the red 75% off bins. And if you've missed Peony, just know that you can always find that one. They bring out a ton of it and it's like, oh my goodness. <laughs> Um, so yeah, it's a really nice um, floral scent. Um, and then there were people that um, were really excited about the return of rain kissed leaves. It's lush green leaves, crisp watercress, and delicate petals. Um, you know, I tried to really get into rain kissed leaves, um, but I think it had too much of the grassy sort of aspect it doesn't smell like fresh mowed grass no it doesn't smell like that um but it was just a little just a little harsh um for me um and then there were times that i actually did like it i guess but it's a nice fresh clean scent um but yeah i don't know if it was really um for me because i don't have any anymore and it's not one that i actually gravitate to or stock up on just you know Black Raspberry Vanilla is coming back, you guys. And that one was always a really nice, fruity, um, but sophisticated scent. I know you don't think it's a fruity scent as something sophisticated, but that one really was. It was like grown up to me and I really enjoyed that one. So I'm actually glad that it's coming back. Um, it's supposed to be in like new packaging. So yeah, I'm excited for that. And then Rose Quartz. Um, which is rose water, lily petals, and fresh patchouli. Rose quartz is a creamy, nice rose scent. I've actually just hauled that one. Um, a few past videos I did, and it's out now. So it's out early. If you don't want to wait until semi-annual sale, then you can grab rose quartz right now. And I really, I'm looking at my bottle over there, and I really enjoy it. I think it doesn't get enough attention, rose quartz, um, because... I think people are just like, oh, this is another rose scent, but it's actually really nice. So yeah, I will definitely get more. Okay, Cucumber Melon is coming back. Um, when I hauled this one, I think a few um, SASs ago, <laughs> um, people were telling me that this was one of their go-to 90 cent 
um, and everything. I wasn't into Bath and Body Works. I didn't know anything about Bath and Body Works in the 90s. You know what I mean? I was a Victoria's Secret girl. I would always look at Bath and Body Works like, what is that place? I literally thought it was like a copycat store to Victoria's Secret. Little did I know at the time that they were sister companies. Um, but I was just thinking, oh, what is that? And mm, I was just so stuck on Victoria's Secret. And I was like, what is Bath and Body Works? Like, what is that place? why are there always so many people over there, you know? And I just was like, oh, I couldn't believe that I actually used to walk by Bath and Body Works like, hmm, okay, I'm going to Victoria's Secret. Like, uh, -hoo -hoo, look at me now, huh? I cannot pass that place up. Now I have to go right inside. I know, I'm obsessed now. Okay, um, um, that one was, it did have a melon scent. It was still clean and fruity, um, and it did have that touch of cucumber, which made it a nice scent. Okay. The next one, um, this is usually a New Year's Eve fave, cocktail dress, crystal peonies, bright mandarin, sheer cedar, velvet musk. This one was always really nice to me, you guys. It always has like the pretty glitter packaging, you know, like a New Year's um, sort of packaging. Um, and it was still a floral. It did have a little bit, like you could barely pick up the citrus aspect but it was musky and floral and really nice. So that one's coming back. Um, Beach Nights Summer Marshmallow. Um, this is a crowd fave, you guys, OMG. Toasted Marshmallow, Sea Salt Breeze, S'mores Accord, Beach Driftwood and Creamy Vanilla. Um, even when Beach Nights appears online, it sells out quickly if you want beach nights you know i'm gonna give you some tips to how you know you can be able to get your faves okay so i'll put that at the end of this video okay so um those three in the same um uh line i have those actually in my bathroom right now um well let me go ahead and grab them Okay, so I went to grab them, you guys. Lemon pomegranate cream, apple blossom and lavender, and peach and honey almond. Remember these guys? Yeah, so this collection is coming back. I know this collection always comes back to semi-annual sale. The lemon pomegranate cream is in my shower right now. Um, it's about halfway through. So look for that one in an upcoming empties video. So the peach and honey almond is um, peaches, mimosa flowers, honeyed almonds, um, creamy vanilla, and clementine. This smells really, really good, you guys. I know I didn't want this video to be too long, so I'm not gonna do an actual sniff test. Um, and then apple blossom and lavender, apple blossoms, fresh cut lavender, jasmine petals, passion fruit, and sparkling quince. So this was a nice apple and lavender. You do get that lavender, um, and it makes it really nice. Remember the sky, sun, and air collection? That's coming back. Um, the air was pear, gardenia, narcissus leaf, mandarin vapor, and white musk. Uh, sun was magnolia, apricot, peony, vanilla, cassis nectar. And sky um, was violet, bergamot, pink pepper, lily, and sandalwood. They all smell really good, nice and fun, you guys. So look for that collection. And then I'm thinking that we'll probably most likely see pearberry, Malibu Heat, Sun Ripened Raspberry, Sheer Cotton and Lemonade, all of those fun ones, you guys, will most likely be back. Okay, now let me tell you guys really quickly what's being retired so far that we do know. Beautiful day! I know, can you believe it's such a really nice, iconic, classic apple scent for Bath and Body Works. I can't believe they're retiring that scent. Um, but most likely you guys will probably still be able to find it online. I don't know. I don't know. But if you love Beautiful Day, I would even say maybe um, if you have um, one, some scents that you don't like right now and you've been meaning to do some exchanges, you could exchange some out right now if you don't want to wait until semi-annual sale. But Beautiful Day is leaving us, you guys. And then guess what? Lovely Dreamer is being retired. So I'm thinking, no, I love my Lovely Dreamer. It's so soft and sophisticated and feminine. Oh, I really love that scent. So guess who's stocking up? I am. <laughs> okay, now guess what body care, or I should say guess what candle is being turned into body care? Suntan right okay so suntan is going to be a new scent 
that's hitting semi-annual sale. I know, I think there's more coming, you guys. I will give you more updates if I find out some more. Um, but so far, suntan is going to be um, in body care. So I know a lot of people are going to be excited about that because um, people really love the suntan candle. Now we have the candles that are, um, okay, some of these, well, no, hmm. These are all candles we've seen before. I'm mostly excited about saltwater taffy. That was a Slotkin or Slatkin original. Um, I wasn't into, you know, Bath and Body Works when it was Slotkin or Slatkin or during that era, but I know people on, you know, Instagram are like, you know, really missing that era. Um, but it's chewy vanilla cream, fresh berries and juicy cherry, like, Oh my goodness, I can't wait to try that saltwater taffy. Summer Boardwalk is coming back, yay! Um, you know, the caramel glazed popcorn, warm taffy apples, and salty sweet cream. Summer Boardwalk is a champion thrower. It will fill an entire room. Um, it's amazing. Um, there's also a beach grass, and then, um, let's see, white sands, beach cabana, which is warm sand, orange blossoms, and sea spray. Um, they do have a 4th of July candle coming. It's a firecracker pop. It's red cherry, fresh citrus, and juicy berry. Um, and then that suntan that I was telling you guys about that's going to be body care is sunkissed citrus, orange blossoms, and coconut husk. Um, so yeah. Um, and then rose water and ivy is coming back. You know that uh, geometric pattern that they had? Those were not my faves, but that collection is coming back. It's like rose water and ivy with midnight blue citrus. Actually, my husband likes uh, midnight blue citrus. Juicy citrus, fresh spring water, sweet mango. And then the rose water and ivy is the soft rose petals, rain kiss ivy, and spring musk. Okay, you guys. So, like I said, you might think I'm rushing a little bit because I really didn't want this video to be um, too long. Um, okay, those are other notes for another video. <laughs> okay, and just as a reminder, you guys, semi-annual sale starts Monday, June 10th, 2019. This is the summer one. Stores will be opening early. Please call ahead to get the exact time. Like, call a few days ahead of time, two to three, you know, and get your time for your stores and all of the stores that you're going to visit um, when you go shopping. Now there are early starts. There are some stores that are going to be testing out opening earlier, which is they're going to be opening one week ahead of time, Monday, June 3rd. Okay, um, now usually online starts about a day early and you'll start to notice when you log on that at around 6 a.m. the prices begin to transition over um, and you'll start seeing the 3.95. Yeah, that's when I start getting happy. That's when I place my order. I wake up early at about 6 a.m. and I do pay for um, overnight shipping. It is $20, but that's how I guarantee that I get all of the ones that I want because this is the time where things are going to sell out fast. Remember that beach night summer marshmallow? That's one of the ones that I feel will sell out fast because it does every year. Um, and then um, semi-annual sale is over July 7th, you guys. That's a Sunday. But of course, online, you'll still be able to pick up some of those um, SAS um, items. And then in your stores, even though semi-annual sale will be officially over, you can still go to your store sometimes and see the red boxes of a lot of leftover, picked over things <laughs> that are up there. Um, and then semi-annual sale will eventually transition into the summer clearance. I took advantage of that summer clearance. The prices were even lower than semi-annual sale. I've said this before, I've done a whole haul. Check it out if you want to. All 74 cent items, not 74% off, but 74 cent items. I have that haul. <laughs> um, and then the coupons available are the 10 off of 40. Um, that's pretty much the only one that you know, last during the duration of semi-annual sale. These are either mailed, handed out, or emailed. So be ready for that. I have a ton. I love when the associates just put like a stack in my bag um, instead of just dropping one in there. Like 
I'm spending like hundreds of dollars, you know, come on, give me some extra cookbooks. <laughs> um, so yeah, you can do multiple transactions. I'm saying this again, uh, because people keep asking me about it. Um, uh, someone asked me, you know, how much would they need to spend in order to use five of the 10 off 40 coupons? Well, if you take 40 and multiply it by five, that's $200. So to use five in one transaction, you need to have at least a minimum of $200 worth of stuff. So there you go. All right. And um, they shouldn't give you any problems about splitting up your transactions. And then also, you guys, I don't think people... um. Uh, know this there is a coupon grace period where you can use your coupons up to three days after they've expired but what I don't think people know is that you can use them three days before as well I've never used a coupon early like that um, your store is not supposed to give you any problem um, you can call corporate you're not trying to get anyone in trouble you're just trying to know what your you know um rules are as a shopper and they are very kind very sweet um and they will let you know and everything so um yeah and then if you buy semi-annual sale items because some things start off as 50 percent off and then they head to the 75 percent off bins if you've bought something you can take it back and get a price adjustment um i usually do if i remember i believe you have up to 14 days please check what those specific rules are for semi-annual sale i know some people were saying oh it's a little different for semi-annual sale, but you can get your price adjustments, you guys. So yeah, those were the updated tips and the tips that I actually wanted to remind you about. If you have more questions, then leave your questions below and I will get to them. And I appreciate you guys for joining me today. I hope this helps. What body care, what candles do you want to see come back? Which ones are you excited that are coming back? Um, leave it below you guys and guess what I will see you in my next video which I'm looking over here at a box I just got an online order in with some new candles that I can't wait to share with you guys so make sure now that you turn on your notification bell so you don't miss this video I'm also thinking of doing a um, nail nail polish declutter video um, this week um, so yeah, see, you just have to stay tuned. <laughs> I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.